realized I'm filming an intro for this vlog clip, so I wanted to start off talking to you guys about what you're gonna see in the next clip. So my good friend Joan and her adorable daughter, I love her to pieces, Sophie, we went to Vertuzio's farm. It's like a family-owned farm here in Gilbert. They have so many fun fall activities right now. There's like a corn maze and a train and everything's included except for food and like face. So we're gonna go earlier in the morning and enjoy while we can before it gets too hot. And yeah, I just can't wait to share it with you guys and let's see what fun we can find on the farm. About to go on this tractor ride, and apparently we might get a little muddy. <laughs> I'm trying this Trader Joe's vegetable pad thai for the first time. Vegetables, rice, noodles, and tofu in a sweet and spicy sauce. It smells really good. It did come in like a pre-made bowl, but I always like, if I make something like this that's like microwave stuff, I always like to put it in a bowl because it just makes it even more delicious in my opinion. All right, I'm going to enjoy this right now and let you guys know what I think. Okay, I'm going to quickly take a bite on camera with you guys. First bite. Mmm. Oh, that's spicy. It definitely has a kick. Yummy. 400 calories and 10 grams of protein. Today, you guys are definitely getting spoiled because we're going to be giving out dad's chili recipe. And this has won how many awards at work? Multiple. Chili Bake Off Multiple Time Winner. And there's a few secret ingredients that we'll tell you towards the end. But first, you're going to need some kidney beans. We've got four cans of the dark red, whatever variety you like. We do rinse them. And then we've got some ground beef, some Italian hot sausage that's already kind of separated into ground. Tomato puree. We've got diced green chilies, Worcestershire sauce, chili powder. We'll have some other spices that we'll share too. And onions. And we're doing this all in a crock pot, so it's super simple to do too. All right, let's get started. Chopped up a whole onion. That's going in with a little bit of oil in the pan. This is the only step that will be, you can kind of start everything out here on the stove top. We're also gonna add in a little garlic, about a teaspoon. All right, we've got two cans dark and one light kidney bean that we rinsed. So three cans total that we're putting into the crock pot and we're gonna crush these up a little bit, so smash them. I'll show you in a second what I mean. And trust us with this step, it is important. It does add to the flavor and like the thickness of the chili. Two cans of beans, uncrushed, going in too. Just put the sausage and meat in with the onions and gonna cook this down a little bit. So this is the color you want the meat to be about. And now we're gonna add in a little garlic, like we said earlier. And then some Worcestershire sauce. How much do you think you put of the Worcestershire? Yes. <laughs> Sprinkle tablespoon. Oh, more. You want me to start? We're gonna let the garlic cook in. Oh, okay. Keep the garlic out. You smell it, you smell it. All right, it's time to do this. He said a quarter of the bottle, about a quarter of the bottle. So pretty much go to town. All right. 
Pouring that into the crock pot. Right, oh. I got poured into an ear and then just combine that all together with the beans. Tomato puree just went in 20 ounces. And now we're gonna put all the spices in and the jalapeno or the green chilies as well. While dad's stirring this up, I wanted to tell you guys the two secret ingredients are the four cheese pasta sauce. You put one of these in with that crushed puree and then one pack of the McCormick original chili spices. Whole pack of this goes in as well. And he does add a little bit more chili powder to it too. I think that's it, right? Spices wise? Okay. And you're not gonna wanna fool around with the chili powder either. We did about a fourth of this container. Once it's all combined, it'll look like that. We're gonna set it for six hours in the crock pot. You can mix it every so often just to check on it, but set it and forget it pretty much. Look who I'm with. Guess where we're going. Oh, your light's changing. We're about to go to Home Goods. Home Goods, whoa, whoa. We haven't been in forever. Oh, I haven't been in forever. I don't know if Mama B has, but I haven't been to TJ Maxx or Home Goods in forever. And they're starting to get all the holiday stuff. And if you have not been with me for a while, then maybe you don't know, but I'm Christmas crazy. What? what you move your butt. She just said a bad word. We no. now had a cut her. No. <laughs> Almost there. Yeah. We're, and I bet We're the Ray Dunn. We're I, on a crusade. I bet the Ray Dunn ladies are there and uh, they're going to think shit. we're trying to get their Ray Dunn. We're not. We're only trying to get macaron trees. Yeah. These oh, really God. cute macaron trees for our gin, my gingerbread display that I'm doing for Christmas time. So cross your fingers that no one tries to grab it on us. All right. We found them. She just went and put them up there. I'll show you them later. But look at how cute all the Christmas is. I saw these cute mugs. These are my favorite colors. Now we can look. Yeah, now we can look and just enjoy after we found them. Where were they, Mama? In the middle. Middle? middle? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at these. Oh, well, no. The cutest faces on that. Like very old fashioned. Oh, look at the Mr. and Miss. Bell. But it's, cute? wait, but it says 2023. That you need oh, 2024 for them. Year. Yeah. I was gonna get this and put it near the family that are missing. Cause watch, watch Oh, like she lights watch up. How pretty she is. Maybe if you're gonna use it for something else too. I like the rustic oh my ones. Gosh. I Can cut you? myself. Oh my god, honey. <laughs> Very cute. That was a good oh my gosh. My heart was racing. Trying to find our little macarons. <laughs> I just asked. I know, she's good. She's like, where is it? Look at the Rudolph salt and pepper shaker. And the snowman is so cute. But look at what I found. He's so cute. Mickey snowman. Found the most beautiful candles. Look at these. These are at TJ Maxx. So pretty. These ones are Martha Stewart. These are candles. Okay, you guys, these are super cute customizable advent calendars. I already have an advent calendar, so I'm not gonna do this, but look how cute. There's 24 boxes for you to put whatever treats you want in there, and they have different styles. Look how cute this one is. Sweet shop. And they have one for the doggies too. This uh, gingerbread is ginormous, but it's so cool. This gingerbread house, because it's a beast. It's huge, but so cool. I would say I'm in desperate need of, of a nail change. What do you think? <laughs> this one broke and it hurts so bad. I can't wait to get it fixed. It's definitely hurting me. I'm doing um, red chrome nails this time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do French tip or entire nail red um, because I'm gonna be Jessica Rabbit for Halloween this year. So thought that would be fitting a chrome red. Fun for fall too. You guys, I am in love with them. 
chrome red nails. The base is OPI Big Apple, I think it's called. Um, and then she did a chrome on the top of it. I don't even think that this is doing it enough justice. They remind me of Wonder Woman, right? Aren't these nails perfect for Wonder Woman? Also, I'm doing Jessica Rabbit, but you guys, they are so pretty. I hope you can see the chrome effect to them. Seriously, my mom's the best. I know you guys know this already, but <laughs> she makes my day all the time. And I came home to sweet surprise um, just now. She actually got Holly a surprise too. Holly's eating right now, her dinner. And then grandma also brought her over more chicken jerky, which is her favorite thing. This is Holly's favorite. And pretty much one of the only treats I get her because it's all natural chicken. Like there's nothing added to it. You have to be super careful with the ingredient list. See, it just says there is a little cane sugar in it, which is not the greatest, but there's not a ton of extra additives. It's just pretty much chicken and she's obsessed. <laughs> but anyways, the other cute goodies that she found, she found these adorable tins at Target, I believe at Target. And do you see there's like a little glitter on his details too? And she thought that these would be perfect for my truffles that I make. I make those like Oreo truffles every Christmas and I used to give them out. I had, did not give them out last year to be honest. But this would be perfect because I could probably fit two, five, probably about seven to eight, maybe eight depending on the size of the truffle I make. Um, but that's perfect to be giving as gifts. Um, so definitely grab these while you can. I think that she did find it in the bullseye spot. And then I have no idea where she found these. They must have been at, she also went to Ivy and Sage today. And I think this might be someone who makes them. She also got this at Ivy and Sage for my purse. Super cute. And then these are from Strictly Primitive, which if you have followed me for a few years, you may remember the Grinch that I had last Christmas, and I think I may have had one of these cuties too in my tree. This year she added cute, look at that cute ribbon, gingerbread ribbon, I love his buttons. She does the cutest job making these little creations, and you can find some of them on Etsy, but if you're in Arizona, Ivy and Sage in Gilbert is where to go to find most of her amazing pieces. I thought that these would be good for my vase, like my little fillers that I do. Uh. And then you guys know the gumball machines of years past, and I still use them, the red and white ones from years past. Um, I haven't used them this year yet, but I plan to this Christmas. I may even give some away as gifts, like to put cookies in, but this one is going to work with me. It's so stinking cute. I love the little pumpkin detail topper. Isn't that so freaking cute? And she got me M&Ms to put in inside even. She thought of everything. She's the sinking cutest. And these are peanut butter. Oh, those are naughty. Very naughty, but delicious. So I'll be bringing that to work for the girls and me to enjoy. It's so cute. So I brought my cute little pumpkin jar to work. This is my little corner at work. And everyone can come and grab a handful. My plant is doing really well too. She's very happy over there. Happy Friday. I am so happy to be done with work this week and this weekend is going to be a lot of fun. First, I'm starting off my Friday afternoon meeting up with my really good friend Aubrey. We're going to this really cute place called, well, I think it's cute. It seems cute from Instagram and stuff. It's called Decadent Macaron and they just opened in Gilbert, Gilbert Mesa area. Um, I'm gonna show you when I go there and they're supposed to have adorable, like cute little shaped macarons and all kinds of different flavors. And they have like coffee happy hour, I think certain days of the week, super cute place. So I'll share that with you when I go. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be going on like a little road trip adventure with my future sister-in-law and good friend Haley. Um, so we're gonna take our doggies, just Holly and her pup Lawrence. And we're gonna go and see the fall leaves up in Flagstaff and I'm sure like go to lunch or something down there and just explore down there. And I've honestly never been to Flagstaff in the fall. I always go, like I've been in the winter when it snows, but not in the fall. So it'll be fun to explore around a little bit. 
And yeah, just wanted to check in with you since I feel like I've been kind of quiet all week. This spot, just this whole area is so cute, you guys. Um, it's brand new, but here's the cute spot, Decadent Macaron. We're going in. place was absolutely adorable. I love the entire vibe. The macarons are delicious. Perfect consistency. They are a little bit pricey, but they are really, really good and flavorful and worth it in my opinion. Do you see this Mickey pumpkin one? It was pumpkin spice flavor. It was absolutely amazing. My drink was great too, and just the atmosphere in general was really perfect. Aubrey got a sample box of a couple flavors, and we both definitely would go back. Thank you.